What's up, y'all? It's your boy Clarence NYC. Welcome back to my reaction channel. If you're new to this channel, man, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you show some love by leaving a comment on this video and smashing the like button. You know what I'm saying? All of that is greatly appreciated. If you don't, that's pretty petty. You know what I'm saying? But if you do, thank you. You know what I'm saying? But uh, this video uh, just came out. It was sent to me like just a little while ago in the DMs. Um, it says, uh, CJ, so cool. I've cheated on Royal before, but I'm not a cheater. People love drama. It's on Say Cheese. So we about to get right into this. And again, I take all like if you get it, if you want to send me a video that you would like me to react to and I see it and I, it looks like it's worthy to react to, um, I would react to it. So just hit me in the DM on Twitter. My Twitter is Clarence NYC. You know what I'm saying? So go ahead over to Twitter. Make sure you follow me and send me some ideas in the DM. But let's get right into this video. It's not that long, so pause. <coughs> YouTube, um, there's always different people. Your name's in headlines a lot about cheating. Yeah. Um, a, a lot of that is, is hearsay, but a lot of that people come up with results and screenshots. Yeah. What do you have to say about that? Because you are a family man, but then there are outsiders who like to point like who like to paint this picture that you are, you know, you like to be in, in DMs and, you know, mess around on your girl. What I got to say about that is, and this is, I'm going to speak on YouTube first and I'm going to speak on the world as in general. When you have a YouTube family channel or a YouTube relationship channel, I don't want anyone from this day forward to think that just because you see it so perfectly that that's what it really is behind the scenes. A video is just that. It's chopped and edited. It's well, what we fact. want you to see. Yeah. In real life, it's a lot different. I'm not saying we're arguing. I wouldn't say it's a lot through, different, though. But I am saying that, yeah, sometimes I make mistakes. Players mess up. I mean, what can I say? I have cheated, and I've gotten caught. I'm not good at cheating because I don't do it. When I finally decided to cheat on my girl, I got freaking blasted. So that was in 2019, I believe, the last time I actually cheated and got caught. CJ's and I know so I cool. did it. Wow, animated. I, I haven't done it anymore. So the it's Young Blue Party... We went to Blues Party. Me and uh, we, he, Kebo took me there. It's all Kebo fault. Everybody that's looking at me and they saying I'm, the, I'm all it. Blame Kevo, okay? He giving me knowledge on money, but he's also bringing me around these people that want to cloud chase. So the more recent stuff, because like I said, I'm already owning up to my mistakes. I cheated on my girl, but my girl knows me in real life. So she's not a commenter or a fan looking in from the outside going, hey man, why you cheating, man? She know me. We've done things together, and she know all me. So it really, in real life, have I really cheated on my girl? No, because everything that's happened, Whoa. my girl knew about. It's just one life. So she's not a commenter or a fan looking in from the outside going, hey, man, why you cheating, man? She know me. We've done things together, and she know all me. So it really, in real life, have I really cheated on my girl? No. Because everything that's happened, my girl knew about it. It's just what the vlog chill with that. Have I my really girl, she gets that? Way, no. way more heard about it. Because now everyone's looking at her like this. So, am I a cheater? No. But is everything in my relationship perfect? Hell no. Nowhere near. I'm raising three kids that ain't mine. Sometimes I really wake up. Oh, and I go, okay. So the, the, the kids, some of those kids aren't I'm his. Just being that's why. I mean, that has nothing to do with YouTube. It's just. Sometimes that's how it is. You know, as a real human being, I look at myself sometimes and I go, why are you simping? Why? Like, I mean, why? There's no need. My only reason for it all is because the way we came into the situation together. We both started at ground zero and we elevated here. So that's the only reason I haven't left her. If I would have oh, left shit. her, I wouldn't be considered a cheater because I would have left her. But then if I leave her, I'm considered the dog who took advantage of royalty and her kids. So now I'm in a situation based off the fans. So that's what ha that's why your life gets messed up. You're living your life for other people. Now I'm living my life for me. Royalty's cool with it. Royalty knew about the party. She seen everything that was going on. She really didn't care until the blogs got it. When the blogs got it, I had to make a post saying I got dumped. She unfollowed me. She took me out of her bio. I was really affected by it. I'm like, okay. You really know me and you're still going to do this for the internet. So I did it for the internet and then I made it bigger than what it should have been. But hey, that's life. Now going into the whole world, don't you kids or you adults or you teenagers look at me and say, no, nah, my family is perfect. Clearly, you're lying. No family's perfect. Don't lie to yourself. No one is perfect. God didn't make us that way. We all make mistakes. Females do. Men do. 
All I got to say is royalty's never cheated on me. Thank God. But I've cheated on my girl. Yeah, I've done that. But that's because of the situation I'm in. I'm freaking rich as heck. Sometimes I'm outside and I see something I want. That's just how it is. But that's why I don't go nowhere. She got such a tight leash on me, man. If I even told you some of the things, you would be like, what? For instance, the reason why uh, one, of the blog, one of the blogs just posted something about some rapper chick feeling all on me, and it got the DMs in it like you just said, right? Royalty's DMing her on my behalf for my page because she has my password, my login on her phone. So I'm in Atlanta, and she's in Vegas, but she's seeing everything I'm doing. Most men ain't going to tell you that because they ain't giving that girl nothing. My girl got my password to my phone. She got five phones with my iCloud in it. She got my Instagram, all of my dog's Instagram. She has everything. So if it was really that detrimental, she would already, like he she would already blasted me. And she would have been in the blogs. She sees everything I do. And I don't even think that's fair on my behalf because I'm, like I said, I'm Michael Jordan on the team. You Scottie Pippen. Yo. Scottie Pippen, we all know where he was getting paid. While Michael was getting 33, Scottie was living off that same first year contract. So it's like, Yo, how am what? I getting treated like a kid? That's what I specifically said to one of the girls in the DM. How am I getting treated like the kid when I'm the freaking boss? Nah. So if, if most of these men was going through what I'm going through, they would be eager to cheat. If your girl was going through your every DMs, through your every text message, my girl will That's text toxic. me the stuff I'm saying as I'm saying it. Do you know how that makes me feel? I mean, I really be feeling like a kid sometimes. Like, damn, man, my mom caught me. My mom I shouldn't caught. feel like that. And you know what really that does, Kevo told me? Really it lowers my kid. energy, which lowers my stock. Everything has something to do with your energy. It can lower your stock or raise your stock, Fuck. which is why when I'm hanging around high energy people, I'm climbing more. And more people are going to talk trash, but that's just more money in the bag. So... Yo, this kid is so entertaining, yo. But that's just more money in the bag climbing more and more people are going to talk trash but that just more money in the bag so i can only imagine the temptation you go through i know so many models and right. artists and people with 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 status they be in your dms trying to fuck with you and as a human like you said sometimes you are going to you know uh, slip take up. the bait yeah you know, when you were all over the blogs this week, you know, from Say Cheese to the Shade Room and, you know, what, what was the feedback like? From royalty or the fans? The fans. I'm going to tell you like this. The fans are more interested in drama than they are in entertainment that I'm providing for them That's on facts. the daily for free. That's right. Once the drama headlines kick in, all my stock rises. So I'm, not, I'm never going to put myself in drama on purpose, but it's funny how that works. So my feedback that I'm getting is free exposure. I mean, literally, the shade room, they charge people to post them, right? They didn't ask for my permission. They just the took it and ran with it. This? That's free promo. Right. Some people are going to hate on me, but some people are going to look at me and say, he wasn't doing nothing. Like, I really wasn't doing anything. How am I standing at a party and I get accused of cheating? It's a party. It's not a sex fest. No one was doing anything inappropriate. I mean, the <laughs> girls that came and started dancing, we standing there, right? This is, this is how they catch you. They don't record the beginning. They record the end. We're just standing there chilling, doing us, letting the sun shine on these diamonds. And these girls came out of nowhere, started dancing. You know, they twerking. And I'm like, excuse me, we standing here. The girl literally waves me off while her friend's still recording. Now that makes it to the blogs. CJ so cool, whispers in girl ear. Yeah, I'm telling her to get the fuck out of my way. She them taking all the damn attention. Now they went from looking at my diamonds to looking at her shake her ass. I don't even know her. Now it, it, it just gets blown out of proportion. So a lot of things you said, I don't even know her. You should have taken attention off of these guys. It's not always true. Like I said, in 2019, yeah, I messed up. But the party, standing at a party, come on, man. Yo, what y'all think, y'all? What y'all think? You know what I'm saying? He said some wild things. I think I don't know if this was this this was today or something, but. It seemed like they were together and things were good, but I don't know if this video makes it any better. But, um, yeah, because he said some crazy things. It's called a Scotty Pippen. The Scotty Pippen joint was base. That was base. Funny. That's why he's hilarious, but it was base. To call your girl Scotty Pippen is base. Nigga said, you know what Scotty Pippen got paid? Scotty Pippen got paid nothing. 
That's why I was like, what, what was he trying to say right there? Comment with y'all. Thank y'all feelings. I see y'all in the comment section. 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 I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And I see y'all next video. You heard. Love y'all, man. Make sure to follow my Twitter, man. Follow my Instagram. All of that. Write me in the DMs on Twitter. I highlight y'all.